What is up guys, it's David Matt and Ali here from Chip Noobs TV and today we're going to be discussing the exciting and upcoming game that is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, but we're just going to call it Wildlands from here on out, okay? In this video, we're going to cover all the exciting news and cool features about this epic game, including the location of Bolivia and how it ties into the story, the playable environment, information on how missions work, and player customization of weapons, tech and outfits. I'm so excited for this game, in fact I'd go as far as saying it's my most anticipated game for this year. So if you're looking forward to this game as well, then we'd really appreciate if you'd leave us a wee like to keep the series going, and comment below what you like the sound of or what you'd like to be added to the game, and we'll be sure to reply, as the game is still not 100% done and presumably still open to suggestions. So we know the game is set in Bolivia, South America, but why Bolivia? Well, we did a bit of digging and, well, let's just say it took about 5 seconds to find out why. Apparently, Bolivia produces approximately 40 to 45 percent of the world's supply of coca leaf and coca paste, which is then used to make cocaine, not chocolate. So there's that. Bolivia also sits alongside the second biggest consumer of illegal drugs in the world, Brasilia, baby. Bolivia also borders the world's biggest producer of cocaine, Peru, <laughs> and South America's primary producer of marijuana, Paraguay. Meanwhile, Argentina is experiencing a ballooning of domestic drug consumption, particularly favouring Bolivia's version of crack cocaine. <laughs> Talk about a gangster's paradise. So as you can see, Bolivia is now literally at the heart of South America's drug trade. And just when you think it couldn't get any worse for drug that Bolivia, Wildlands producers have decided to go the whole distance and make the country the largest cocaine producer in the world. As the story does take place a few years in the future, we now understand how this is entirely possible. The Santa Blanca drug cartel has turned the country into a narco state, leading to lawlessness, injustice and violence. You and your teammates, the Ghosts, will play as an elite US Special Forces team, who have been sent behind enemy lines to wreak havoc and take down the cartel at the same time, creating a wedge between the cartel and the corrupt government. Santa Blanca translates to Holy White, by the way, so it's fair to say that the cartel is indeed in love with the go go. In love with the go go. In love with the go go. Now, if you have watched any of the trailers for Wildlands, you would see that the game's environment is huge. It's been confirmed as Ubisoft's biggest open world game yet. So, for example, it's going to be bigger than any Assassin's Creed map, and even more excitingly, any Far Cry game, because if you guys remember what Far Cry 2's map was like, then you can see why Wildlands is going to be huge. The wild lands of wild lands will cover many different terrains of Bolivia, each terrain having tactical advantage and disadvantages. What's also really cool is that the players can go anywhere in the environment by themselves and do not need to be doing the same thing as the rest of their squad members. So that's how the environment will look, but how will it feel just to walk around? The producers are striving to make each square inch of the map contribute to an overall living and breathing open world. The people you encounter in Wildlands each have their own agendas and behaviours and they'll react not just to your actions, but also to changes in the weather, time of day, things like that. They'll participate in events that have absolutely nothing to do with you or your mission. For example, some people who have played the early demos of the game have mentioned coming across an outdoor farm dance party. Yeehaw! <laughs> Don't get too carried away, David, as I doubt we'll be allowed to get our groove on, as the whole game is meant to be one big covert operation. However, when not completing missions, players can interact and build friendly or hostile relationships with other non-playable characters, such as citizens, government officials, or the rebels of the world. But you do need to be careful as interactions will bring consequences and impact the game world, and change how players achieve their objectives. Your enemies are no different and will have random actions too, except that they also have factional politics to consider. Bolivia isn't simply run by the Santa Blanca, the Santa Blanca pays the government which in turn hires a military force called Unidad to protect its interests. The cartel soldiers don't get along well with the Unidad troops, so it'll be interesting to see how we are able to set both factions up with each other, and this is something that could come in handy on missions, we expect. Overall players in Wildlands will never encounter the same situation twice, providing amazing possibilities and creative freedom to cultivate very personal stories and experiences with the game. Some which I'm sure we will make for fantastic let's plays. So now we move on to what is sure to be the most exciting part of the game, the co-op missions. Whilst playing and carrying out missions, the game will portray total freedom of choice. The game will only present you with an end objective. It is up to you to decide how you will achieve it. The possibilities are endless. 
All the missions can also be done non-linear as you see fit, so go ahead and engage all your missions in whatever order or manner suits you. The world will react differently to each of your choices, unexpected opportunities and threats could arise from any situation as well as a chain of really messed up consequences, so be careful. You don't want your head to end up in the back of a tortoise walking through the desert, do you? Something worth mentioning is that producers have spoken in depth with US Special Operations as well as Special Forces, so some of your missions have been built around the stories they had to share. Which is a really nice touch for, like, surrealness and all that. Your tactical choices should depend on a few factors. Weapons, transport, the gear you have, the location and the terrain and the time of the day, and of course, the possible repercussions of your acts of violence. Will you do as you're told? Will your teammates do as you tell the team? Another thing worth mentioning is that all missions are done with four people, whether you are with four friends or playing solo with three AI. Enemy AI will use tactical movements such as flanking and even an environment to kill you. One demo player described how an unarmed AI got in a car and tried to run him over. In terms of player customization, Wildlands really does allow you to become the ghost that you want to be. There will be a character creation section before you begin the game, presumably much like their other current game, Tom Clancy The Division. Changing your tactical equipment around such as grenades, flares, mines etc will also cause your character to look different on the outside. Probably the coolest and the biggest part of player customization is always going to be your character's outfits. All outfits and accessories will be as authentic as possible to real life ghosts with the use of backpacks, shirts, pouches, vests, etc. Again, this information was collected during the time spent with the people who actually wear these outfits as their uniform. They also work with military product companies like Under Armour and Oakley to keep things looking realistic and badass. Wearing practical but yet civilian-like clothing will allow you to blend in with the crowds in busy environments. There will also be a huge variety on attachments on guns, allowing you to play how you want. Yet another way to customise your own character. Producers have worked with authenticity advisors to ensure not only that the weapons look and feel appropriate, but also they are relevant to the time and geographical constraints. The government, the cartels, and of course the ghosts will all be equipped realistically. However, the ghosts are the best at what they do, and it is confirmed that they can use any weapon they find, as if it were their first choice. Firearm ballistics will be accurate without being over-punishing. Producers want the players to feel meaningful differences between weapons, with realistic propulsion, bullet drop-off, as well as things like engagement distances and effective ranges. There you have it folks, this has been Tube Noobs TV covering all the exciting information and features that we cannot wait to check out in Wildlands. The release date is yet to be confirmed, but let's hope for it ASAP, people. Except, not if they're gonna downgrade it. Ooh, touchy subject these days with Ubisoft. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to leave a like rating down below and subscribe for more information as soon as it becomes available, as I'm sure there's lots more to come and we'll be covering it all the way. Again, remember to leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the game and one of us will meet you down there. Probably me though, because I just care a little bit more than the other guys. And until next time guys, you can check out a variety of Let's Plays that me, Matt and Ali all play together. They will be annotated in this end slate so you can click away to your heart's content and watch as many videos as you want. We recommend the GTA playlist, it's where we have the most fun to be honest, and it will also kind of give you an idea of what it will be like watching us play Wildlands. So yeah, on you go. Give it a watch, and until next time guys, take care and goodbye. Oh, this is perfect! Ah! Oh, okay, I'm chasing it. it. Main pursuit. Oh, just over it! Oh, mouse pie. Oh, How am I gonna get back onto this? Oh shit, I'm on the wrong side of the track. Oh, this is gonna kill me, isn't it? Oh, so. that hurt. <laughs> I wanna be the king of the train, baby. Fuck, I went too shallow this time. Oh, come on. I can't oh, get that hurt. Oh, that really hurt, guys. My bike's getting dragged by the train. I think it's fucked.